have you ever wanted to get into real mowing uh, and you went over to Alice's webpage or Swordman and then you see that those suckers actually cost two, three thousand euros. That's just the starting price. And that's not maybe possible for some. Uh, some maybe don't want to start off by buying one of those more expensive machines. So today I'm going to show you where you can actually start. See if you even like real mowing, if you like the cut, because um, it's a different experience. So stay tuned. So this is a Gardena 400C. Uh, I would say this is kind of the premium segment of the manual reel mowers. Together with the Fiskars one, I would say these are the step you take right before you upgrade to a battery driven or a gas driven reel mower. Um, and the benefits of these are that they are very easy to use. Um, I mean this one weighs about 10 kilograms, which is about 22 pounds. They're really easy to store. It has a folding handle, so you can just store it away pretty easy. The cutting width is about 40 centimeters, which is about 16 inches, which is pretty decent actually. And you have four different settings you can use from 12, 22, 32 to 42 millimeters. So that's about half an inch to 1.6 inches and if you want you can get one of these grass catcher boxes sold separately and it's really easy to just put on just latch it on like this now we have a grass catcher box so some of the pros of this one is that if you want to get into real mowing it's real cheap to get it's about 120 euros perfect way of getting started with real mowing kind of get the feel of the cut how it feels to actually use a cylinder mower I would say actually try one of these before you upgrade uh, I mean if you don't like it you've only spent 100 euros so you can sell it uh, used or something like that um, it's quite something different if you buy a real mower for two three thousand euros and you uh, <laughs> you come to the conclusion that you actually don't like it. Uh, so this is a perfect way to get started. And it's actually perfect for when you're doing lawn renovation or seeding, overseeding. Uh, imagine wanting to seed with Kentucky bluegrass and ryegrass. Then you're gonna have that ryegrass starting to grow within a week. And your Kentucky blue will take two more weeks to start actually growing. And Meanwhile, if you want to cut the ryegrass, you can't put your regular mower on there. It weighs too much. You're going to cr crush new seeds. So one of these that only weighs 10 kilograms is actually perfect for that. It's ideal. So even if I use a big reel mower, I still would get one of these for that purpose. And also it's really easy to change the settings. Pull this pin and change it to whatever you want. All right. So before we go in any further into the review, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. It's a new channel. Um, I'm, I just started out. I'm trying to learn everything as I go. How to edit videos, how to plan videos, and frankly, how to just not be awkward on camera. Uh, I live in a quite, in a neighborhood where the neighbors are quite close. Uh, it takes a while to get used to not being embarrassed on camera uh, but please leave any comments any feedback you might have and like and subscribe it really helps me out I really enjoy doing this I'm getting better as I go along so hopefully you'll stay and watch and give me any feedback you have and subscribe so some of the cons of this one one thing I really hate about it is this handle it's too short. I mean, it's an ergonomic handle, but if, if it's actually ergonomic, why can't I actually adjust the length of it? I, I don't get it. They put all this effort to make it ergonomic, good, good to hold, 
but I can't actually change the length. So one, what ends up happening is that I actually hit the grass catcher because it's so close to it. So I always have to mind my feet. And I would say the grass catcher isn't the best. It does catch a lot of grass, but it's, it also misses a lot. Um, I only use this if I have some fungus in the grass and I don't want the clippings to be on the grass and spread the disease or if I'm running over some poa. Um, I don't want the poa seeds to actually spread, so I, then I use the grass catcher, but as I said, it doesn't catch all. It, it's actually pretty mediocre. <laughs> uh, thankfully, it's not that expensive. I would still recommend having one in case you need to actually catch the clippings. And another obvious con of this one is that it, it it's a workout. I mean, that's why it's only recommended for medium-sized lawns like mine. Mine is about 2,000 square feet. I think the recommended lawn size for this from Gardena themselves is about 2,700 square feet or 250 square meters. And I understand that because doing my entire lawn, I mean, you, it's quite a workout. Uh, I would say if I had a bigger lawn, I wouldn't recommend this. But if you still want to get into real mowing and you have a bigger yard, if you have 10,000 square feet or something like that, I would still get one of these and try it out on a smaller area, actually. If you have quite a lumpy lawn, if you have a lot of ups and downs, you do risk scalping some of the areas. So if you have, if your wheel is going over a low area and that wheel is on a higher area then everything in between there you will scalp it so that's a risk you take with a cylinder mower I would say that's a good thing too because that will push you to actually get some sand and level your lawn and that's something I will do as well uh, in the future mine is a bit bumpy but it's it's okay for now and another difference I don't know if this is that much of a con, it's just a difference. I mean, for the big, big reel mowers, you have big rollers in the back instead of wheels. So for this one, if you're actually getting real close to an edge, the wheels will be in the way. So you'll, you'll have a harder time cutting edges. You might need to use your trimmer more. If, if you had a real, a real reel mower, <laughs> that a word real real mower well if you had a real real mower then you would have rollers in the back and no wheels here then you would have no trouble cutting right up um, up to the edge so that's a difference I don't know if that's much of a con and one thing you do need to know about these is that you do need to cut in different directions to get a perfect clean cut that roller will fold some of the grass blades so you'll actually miss them the first time so you need to take that into consideration too you might need to go in one direction and then back the other direction or even cross it one time to get a perfect cut so those are some of my thoughts about this unit uh, i've been using it for a while and uh, enough talking let's start cutting some grass was quite the workout uh, I mean it's not the easiest thing to push around but it's 
absolutely perfect for a mid-sized small lawn if you want to try out real mowing without having to spend a whole lot of money on it. Um, it's quite cheap, easy to use and the results are actually pretty good. Um, you have to go over it a couple of times to get the perfect cut but I don't mind that at all. Um, I would highly recommend this for everyone who wants to try out real mowing, get a feel for it before spending the actual money on a real bigger machine. So this one is perfect, I would recommend it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.